Hi, so this is Frank Jackson, and we're uh, another half, a part of the Material Sustenance Show at the Reinstitute from May 27th to July uh, 15th. And Frank, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, hello, Henry. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I um, live in Western Massachusetts in Williamstown, Mass. Lived there for almost 30 years. Um, I'm a painter, uh, printmaker, make drawings. Um, these are most part of this work, and this shows frescoes. Um, and uh, I teach. I teach at a local high school um, called Buxton. Um, it's a really great place. And um, yeah, and I'm excited to be be part of the show. Okay. Um, one of the things that interests me about showing artists here is when they're doing something or finding something that's unique to the process of being here. Has there been anything like that that's you stumbled across so far? It's, you just hung it. So we just hung it, but it, yeah. We're a little young yet. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say we're a little young, but... Um, no, well, it's been interesting, you know, going from a, a kind of conceptual notion of all, all our work together in the same room and then not knowing what the, you know, the actuality of that would be. Um, and now the thing's going, it's, it's, I don't know, I'm finding it kind of cool to see uh, relationships and dialogue and conversations happening. Um, certain gestures, color, textures, uh, things that are um, popping up for me in other people's work. Um, yeah, I'm really looking and, forward to that over the next seven weeks yeah, to see and, that and experience that dialogue. Yeah, and I mean, this is such a magnificent space and um, just, uh, you know, frankly, I was a little nervous that the architecture would, would um, be so powerful that it would be tough to have small work uh, in here, and my work is pretty small. Um, but it feels like it actually has helped it um, bring out some of the condensed space you know, like if you just add water, things like get big. And so it feels like some of the condensed type of space that's in the work um, is able to kind of come alive in here. So I, that was a surprise for me, and I'm, I'm pleased about that. Well, one of the first things that I began to feel was a sense of monumentalness to the painting, even though they're really small. You know, the, the, this piece here, the it's actual painted part is probably eight by eight, eight, by eight. Yeah, maybe. the frame's 12 by 12. Something like that, yeah. This is a small piece, but it has a monumental intent, I think. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's interesting, whatever, you know, the, to hear you say that, because I mean, I, of course, you, everybody wants their work to be about everything, you know, and have everything in it. Um, you know, for me, it's all about like landscapes and bodies and space and qualities of light and time and, um, horizon lines and indications of, of, um, uh, of there being a, a kind of arc between here and there, uh, someplace else. Um, and, you know, for me personally, the, the work with Fresco has been super interesting and it's opened up all these new, new things for me. And um, number one, the Fresco, the Intonica layer, uh, you have very short working time and so it's maybe have to work quickly and um, uh, not, not get too bogged down with things. Um, and it's allowed me to kind of go back into it later when the fresco is um, not workable anymore, but I go back into it with egg and oil emulsions. Um, and that's, that's also been really fun to just kind of play with the alchemy of materials. Um, and I think it's also opened up color a little bit for me because um, these are all hand ground pigments. Um, they're just unbelievably rich and, and powerful. And um, uh, I don't know, it's going to make color <laughs> kind of fun again if, for lack of a better thing. Well, that's great. Well, um, thank you, Frank. I really appreciate it. Let's just take a quick look at this grouping here. I find it also, uh, you spoke of them being in fresco and in egg tempera, both 
very old techniques, both very um, stable and durable techniques, but the twist here for me is that you've put it on burlap, which seems like, or a loose canvas, um, and the, the tension between those two is pretty intense. Yeah, no, that, that was um, uh, something that was really interested in. Um, I basically I skipped the, the first two structural layers of fresco and I go straight to the finished layer. Um, on burlap. The problem with that is that these are incredibly fragile and snap really easily. Um, and so I, I, that caused me another, you know, kind of another problem to fit, try and figure out, which was to create some way to uh, support them and ideally a type of architecture that would hold, hold these, um, protect them functionally, but also do something else to them. And so this is, these are, um, um, wrap skin glue and whiting surfaces um, that have been built out, which is a, as you know, a traditional painting ground. Um, but it, there's a quality of light to that that's, um, I think, unique, actually hard to find in other things. So. And it's super rich. It's um, amazing. I find it really beautiful. Yeah. And then other things, like this is just strictly oil. Um, and so, you know, I think that's sort of thing about these is a textural experience has kind of brought up new things for the, the oil painting as well. Um, well, thank you. Yeah. Really appreciate it. No, I'm delighted, delighted yeah. to be part of the show. And um, yeah, psyched. Okay. <laughs> Thanks.